The HeartStart MRX can provide non-invasive transcutaneous pacing therapy, delivering paced pulses in either demand or fixed mode. Fixed mode pacing delivers pacer pulses at the selected pacer rate and is typically used if R wave detection is unreliable or when monitoring electrodes are not available. In demand mode, the pacer only delivers pacer pulses when the patient's heart rate is lower than the selected pacing rate. In this program, we'll demonstrate pacing using this preferred pacer mode. Pacing requires the use of the multifunction pads to deliver the paced pulses. During demand mode pacing, the multifunction electrode pads cannot be used for ECG monitoring. You must monitor the patient through three or optional five or ten lead monitoring electrodes. Turn the therapy knob to the pacer position. This message indicates that the pacing function is enabled, but paced pulses are not being delivered. Press the lead select button to select the lead with the most easily detectable R wave, usually lead two. Verify that white R wave markers appear above or on the ECG waveform. If the R wave markers do not appear or do not coincide with the R wave, select another lead. Press Pacer Rate and use the navigation buttons to adjust the rate to the desired number of paced pulses per minute. Press Menu Select to confirm the selection. If needed, adjust the initial pacer output. Press Start Pacing and the message Pacing appears. Confirm that the white pacing markers appear on the ECG waveform. Press Pacer Output and use the navigation buttons to increase the output until capture occurs. Then decrease the output to the lowest level that still maintains capture. Press Menu Select to select the desired output. Verify capture and the presence of a peripheral pulse. When operating on battery power, this message appears to remind you that you are pacing using battery power and you should consider connecting the MRX to external power. To stop delivery of pace pulses, press pause pacing to view the intrinsic rhythm. Press resume pacing to resume delivery of pace pulses. Should defibrillation become necessary during pacing, turn the therapy knob to the appropriate energy or AED. When you're ready to resume pacing, turn the therapy knob back to pacer. Press resume pacing and the device resumes pacing using the previously selected mode, rate and output settings. Be sure to confirm that cardiac capture has been maintained. When pacing is no longer needed, turn the therapy knob from pacer to monitor. This completes our program on the HeartStart MRX. We've covered an overview of the device's features and controls, explained how to monitor ECG, SpO2, NBP, invasive pressures, CO2, and temperature, manage alarms, and display trending data, covered how to view a 12-lead ECG, and demonstrated AED and manual defibrillation, qCPR measurement and feedback, sync cardioversion, and pacing therapy. Please remember that prior to using the MRX and for additional information, you should read the instructions for use and review the other training materials. These materials not only include details about monitoring and defibrillation functionality and operation we covered in this video, but also information about device configuration, care and troubleshooting, as well as data management.